Hello guys, welcome to TechMaker. In this video, I will show you how to interface OLED display with the Arduino. So let's get started. Before getting started, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new video. These displays are small and only about 1.3 inches diagonal but very readable due to this high contrast of OLED display. This display is made of 128 by 64 indeed white OLED pixels. Each one is turned on or off by the controller. This is an I2C variant of OLED display and a SPI version is also available in the market. This board uses I2C 7-bit addressing mode where the address range is between hexadecimal 3C to 3D. Since it uses I2C protocol to communicate, it is very easy to connect. Let's connect the OLED display with the Arduino. First insert the display on the breadboard carefully. Now connect ground of OLED display to the ground of the Arduino. The VCC of the OLED display is connected to the 5V pin of the Arduino. The SCL pin is connected to the A5 pin of the Arduino. The STA pin of the OLED display is connected to the a4 pin of the Arduino. Here the connections are completed. Now we need to upload the code. Before uploading code to the Arduino, we need to add the two libraries. One is the Adafruit SSD1306 and another is the Adafruit GFX library. To add this, go to the sketch and click on include library and add zip library the libraries are available in the link in the description you can download from there i added the ssd library now we need to add the GFX library. Now go to the Arduino library directory. Go to the library and go to our order SSD 1306 master. And here you will find the order SSD 1306 h which is the header file open it now uncomment this line and comment this line we are changing this because we are using the 128 by 64 display if you are using the 128 by 32 display please remind it same so save the file now close it now you can upload the code to the Arduino I am connecting the cable and uploading the code now you can see the hello world printed on the display Here these are the libraries which we installed earlier and this is a supporting library for i square c. This is the address for the device. Here 
we are initializing the display here this command is used to clear the entire display this command is used to set the font size on the display if you increase the number the font size will also be increases this is used to set the color of the text for the monochrome display white color is default for multicolor display you can choose any color this command is set cursor right one indicates the row and left one indicates the column this determines from where the text starts next we will this command is used to display the text on the screen after setting the all the parameters finally we will display here on the screen that's all in this video don't forget to like share and subscribe i will see you in the next one